Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the rediscovery of the coelocanth. But before we get started, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, first of all, thank you. And second of all, turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video, because I don't really have a set schedule right now. But that'll help you know when there is a video out, and then you can watch it. But today we are going to be talking about the rediscovery of the coelacanth. But without further ado, let's get started talking about the coelacanth. Coelacanth fossils are some of the oldest fossils ever found, and they are some of the oldest fish fossils ever found. Some have been measured up to 410 million years old. Scientists and paleontologists thought coelacanth had gone extinct because um, it, its fossils were so old, and they also thought that um, since they were so old, they likely died out with the dinosaurs, and um, no one had ever seen one. Um, or maybe if they did, they wouldn't recognize it as a coelocanth, because, um, like, the first, like, when you see a fossil, and then you see the real thing, which is kind of unlikely, because most fossils are of dinosaurs, and you're not going to see a dinosaur, but certain fish fossils, um, sometimes it's hard for paleontologists to kind of make a picture of it in their head, and so maybe people had seen them, they just didn't know it was a coelacanth, um, but no one had ever actually seen one. But the coelacanth was rediscovered in 1938 by some fishermen in the Indian Ocean, right off the coast of South Africa, they were fishing, um, for sharks, yeah, they were, um, shark hunters, and they, um, cast out their gill nets, and they found a bunch of coelocanth. I imagine they probably didn't know what those were. Um, but then I also heard one place that there was a guy who was at a market in South Africa. He was a marine biologist. And um, he was there on his honeymoon. And um, he found a coelocanth at a market there. And it was selling. And um, I don't exactly know what he did, but that's when he found out that coelacanths were still alive. Um, but the Manga Bay, um, it's a U.S. Um, news station in Africa. Um, they reported that a group of coelacanths were living in, like, underwater canyons up to over 1,500 feet in depth. It was very deep under the ocean. And um, scientists were surprised at the rediscovery and lots of people when they hear about like rediscoveries and like um certain things they think it's kind of like clickbait kind of thing like um like a hoax and they don't exactly believe it at first that happens a lot mostly with fake things like when people try to convince people that like monsters are real like bigfoot um so they thought maybe at first it could have been a hoax but then all over the Indian Ocean, people started spotting coelacanths and um, getting them caught in their fishnet when they're fishing for sharks. Um, and so, yeah, ever since then, there have been many coelacanths that were accidentally caught in the vicinity of the Indian Ocean and um, surrounding islands and things like that. Um, and I think this is very interesting, and this opens a lot of doors in paleontology. Just because something is millions of years old and its fossils are dated to that old doesn't mean it still can't exist. Um, for your example, I have theories about the plesiosaur or maybe mosasaurs still being alive. Maybe not exactly looking like that because the coelacanths don't exactly look like the fossils, but maybe they have a little bit different look or maybe they look completely like um, nothing we've ever kind of created with um, CGI or things like that. But this opens lots of doors in paleontology. We haven't, um, there's 65% of the world that hasn't been discovered yet. And that doesn't even count space and everything like that. So there could be all sorts of creatures that we haven't even discovered yet or haven't rediscovered yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and feel free to comment any of your thoughts or opinions about the rediscovery of the coelacanth. I hope you guys have a great day. MJ's Dinosaurs out.